I was first exposed to BSD in at college. I've never run it. So now you know my experience level. So this is my level of personal experience was same. Never run was it. Was at college. This is like turn of the century computer science department, University of Nebraska. And there was like this pecking order of nerds. And it was like correlated with population size. So like most of the people are running Windows. And they're like at the bottom of the pecking order. But there's but the most of them. And then some of us, see how I'm now personalizing it. Some of us had branched out and and learned to run Linux on our laptops or our desktops. And there was less of us, but we were cooler than the Windows people. And then there was one guy, one guy who ran FreeBSD. And he was at the top. He was the, he was the hardest of the hardcore. And we were all kind of looked up to him and was kind of afraid. And he also was a bit snobby and looked down on us. And uh, I just was afraid of it from then on out because I was like, only one guy knows how to do it. Uh, I'm cool with Linux. It's already hard enough. I'm already not a Windows person. These are very juvenile thoughts, of course. But it seems like that's the view I saw of like this divide of the Linux and BSD people is there's more Linux people, less BSD, but BSD is like even harder core. Does that resonate with you guys or is that just like what my perspective looked like at the turn of the century? I definitely have seen that that perspective. Oftentimes, you know, especially back in the early 2000s, I would say that BSD definitely wasn't harder. It, it was probably much more well documented. And and if you had wanted to, you could have uh, done it and, and probably even had less difficulty. Some of that has maybe inverted a bit now. Linux has gotten a lot more mature and there's a lot more documentation out there than there there was, you know, back in the early 2000s. Yeah, try not to have too much bias here. But at the same time, there there is that general perception and I don't know how well deserved it is that yeah, you know, how it started ESD is or this whatever. High, higher harder core, but for a long time it was definitely, you know, if you were doing business with your computer, you know, if you were making money hosting something, you wanted to be doing that with a BSD and then Linux was, you know, this kind of it's what the kids are doing, but it's it's just a toy. And that, you know, has changed a lot. It's been 20 years and, and more than that. And, you know, uh, IBM spent a couple billion dollars making Linux better and then separately at, since then then <laughs> bought Red Hat. But I think part of it is also just the assumptions uh, that BSD makes. It kind of, I guess the best way I've heard it phrased is it, Unix doesn't stop you doing something stupid because that would also stop you doing something clever. But it does mean that, you know, there are no guardrails to keep you from shooting your foot off. 